Hey, all right. I am so excited to show you this typewriter. If you haven't figured it out, we really like the Smith Corona electric typewriters. One, we feel very confident and comfortable painting them. And uh, we don't like to paint the older typewriters. Um, we just think they're more um, collect collectible and more um, just the way they are, they're just perfect the way they are. But we love these electrics because there's a great canvas for painting bright colors. And we just think it makes people happy and smile. And so that's what this typewriter is. It just makes you feel happy when you look at it. And we all need a little bit more happiness right now in our lives. So um, I'm thrilled to show this typewriter off to you. I'm going to show you how it works and then do a typing demo for you. So this one is an electric typewriter with a power return. It is a Smith Corona Coronet Automatic 12. Whenever you see a 10 or a 12 on the name, it has to do with the carriage size. So this is a 12 inch carriage, which is great for larger paper. Um, and you can also do landscape, portrait. Um, I always recommend a 12 inch carriage to crafters, whether or not you're gonna use bigger paper or not, you know, just in case. Um, I think, cause with crafting, you never know what idea you're gonna get. So it's always good to have a bigger carriage just so you have a little bit more room. And yes, you can use cardstock on your, in your typewriter. It's not gonna damage the typewriter, but if your cardstock is too thick, it might bend your cardstock. So just test it out first to see what is going to be the best for you. Okay. So right here, margins, you press and drag your paper holder, and that just keeps your paper from flopping over. Sometimes people use it. Sometimes they don't. Now this little lever on this side, this releases the tension. You'll see this metal bar here. When you roll your paper, sometimes it's crooked. And so when you release the tension, you can adjust the paper and make sure it's nice and straight. To move the carriage, it's called carriage release. Lever is right here. It's actually on both sides. Just pull it and you can hear the cute little bell. So the bell will ring when you get close to your margins. It lets you know, hey, you only have a few character spaces left. You need to hit return or if the typewriter stops, let me turn this on. When you get to your margin, the typewriter's not going to do anything. It's not broken. It's just at the end of the margins, the typewriter's saying, hey, you told me to stop here and I'm stopped. So then you hit the MR button. That means margin release. And then you can keep going if you want. All right. So when you hit the power return, it's going to advance either one, two or three lines, depending on where you have it set. Now you can also, when you turn your handle, you can hear it click and that's a half a line. And so when you roll your paper, it's always gonna roll a half a line. Well, sometimes things aren't lining up exactly the way you want. And so to fix that, you just press, there's this black button, you press that in while you roll and that releases the roller so you can do some fine tuning adjustments. And then when you release, it'll go back to adjusting okay let me put this in the middle i'm going to open this up right here on the side is your motor and then you'll see this has a universal ribbon we put in a black a new black red ribbon for you it um it goes through these four guide wires right here there's an up close image um, if you click on this link in the description, it will take you to the, the product listing, but the images are on there so you can look at an up close image if you need that. Also, when you get to the end of your ribbon spool, the typewriter may stop on you and it'll act like there's something wrong. Well, it's not. It just needs to reverse the direction of the ribbon and that is right here. And yes, I always get, um, not always, but occasionally gets comments, hey, they should auto reverse. Well, they don't always auto reverse. So you need to know what to do in case your ribbon doesn't auto reverse. This is the manual ribbon reversal. Also, if your font gets faint, please stop typing and reverse the direction of your ribbon and see if that fixes that, which 99.99% um, .99 of the time it will. If you keep typing when your font is faint, you're gonna punch a hole in your ribbon. Easy to fix, but 
just a pain. Okay, let's go ahead and put in a piece of paper and do our typing demo. Y'all, it's so cute. I have these hummingbirds. I wish I could turn this around right outside my window right here and they're fighting over the nectar. There's actually two. They've been fighting all summer and there's now a third one that's gotten in on it. And they're, uh, all three of them are fighting right now. <laughs> and uh, some of them, <laughs> they just ran into each other. Anyway, I'd give you a play-by-play, -play, but this is about the typewriters. Okay, so this is a 1960s Smith Corona Coronet Automatic 12. This types really well, and that font is so clear. This is your tab, just hit tab, and if you wanna set it, you set here, and you wanna clear here. So let's go, let's use our backspace. Let's say I want my tab right here. So I'm gonna hit set, and let me go ahead and type. Hit my power return, and then my tab should work. There it goes. This types really well. So this is gonna be good for kids, college students, anybody who wants a happy typewriter, right? Also, there's three keys on electric typewriters that have an auto repeat, and that's gonna be your dash, your X, your period. Comes in handy for lines, typewriter art. Instead of a delete button, you X through it or line through it, and then you just keep going. Okay. If you're a fast typist, you're gonna want an electric typewriter. Um, okay, let's do the red. Backspace, made a mistake. So when you make a mistake, there's no delete button. You just type over it, exit out, line through it, and then keep going. It's okay. We don't have to be perfect. Okay, this gets a 10 from me. Very good typewriter. Much for watching. You can view a photo of this through the link in the description below. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.